What's up everybody out there? This is Aaron here with another deck profile. As you can see right here, Rituals and the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Basically, it's a Chaos Ritual deck. Now, of course, in this deck, there's not that many Darks, but yeah, it is with the Chaos, Light and Darks. Now, okay, I'll explain why they work with the Rituals. So, okay, here we go. Of course, my mistake right here. We'll go with the two Blackluster Soldiers. Remove a light, remove a dark. Remove from r remove one monster on the field from play. And if you activate this effect, this card cannot attack during this turn. Or if this card destroys an opponent's monster as a result of battle, it can attack once again in a row. Everyone else, particularly Blacklash Soldier. Of course, you could run three, but I run two. And then the one right here, Chaos Emperor Dragon. Which is, cannot be normal summon set, must be special summon. From your hand, of course, by banishing a light and dark from your graveyard. Once per turn, you can pay a thousand life points. Send as many cards in both players' hands and on the field as possible to the graveyard. Then inflict 300 points of damage to your opponent for each sent card. Sent to the, uh, my mistake, 300 points of damage to your opponent for each card sent to the opponent's graveyards by this effect. You cannot activate other cards or effects during the turn you activate this card. So basically that's the Emperor stuff. Okay, now we'll go to the Rituals. Now of course, Rituals, it's it's way different than compared to any other Ritual decks. So I'll clear. Okay, right here. The Blue Eyes cast Max Dragon, which I use. You can Ritual Summon this card with Chaos Form. Must be Ritual Summon. It cannot be Special Summoned by any other ways. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict double piercing damage to your opponent. So, do I cast Emperor Dragon? Ah, uh, I don't know why I keep I say Emperor Dragon because I think it's crazy, but no, it's Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Now, yeah, okay, the Lord of Red I use. You can ritual summon this card with Red Eyes Transmigration. Once per turn during either player's turn when this card or effect is activated, except Lord of the Red, you can target one monster on the field, destroy it. Once per turn during either player's turn when this card or effect is activated, except Lord of the Red, you can target one spell trap card on the field and destroy it. So basically, two times it can stop an effect, magic, or trap that is played, and you have the choice of rather destroying a monster, and if you destroyed a monster already, still on that turn, but you have the way of destroying a magic or trap. Same goes if you want to go magic or trap first, and then destroy a monster. Venue, Bright Bird of Divinity. So, you can ritual summon this card by, with Primal Cry, once per turn, reveal one monster in your hand, then target one face of monster on the field. That target becomes equal to the level the revealed monster had until the end of this turn. Once per turn, if another monster is, the, is dis distributed from your hand or field, except during the damage step, you can target one monster on the graveyard. In your graveyard, add it to your hand. Now for last of my rituals, except it's a new one, a tech one. Incantification Chalizium. Okay. Now, okay. You can ritual summon this card by Incantification Inception. You can reveal this card in your hand. Discard one card, and if you do, special summon one Incantification monster from your deck. Also, during the end phase, lose 2500 light points if you did not special summon a ritual monster. This turn active 
after you resolve this effect. You can send one incantation card from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. Then target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy it. You can only use one incantation Childism. It's pretty hard to say for me. Effect. And only once that turn. So I'll get more into it. So that's one of the new ones, a ritual. That's the new ritual. Now of course, yeah, stable. Of course. Three manju. When this card is normal summon or flipped, you can send you can select one ritual or ritual spell. Bring your deck to your hand. You can use three, but I use two. Send you. When this card is normal summon or flip, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Now here's the new ones. Incant candle now okay so level four now okay you can reveal one ritual spell in your hand special summon both this card from your opponent from your hand and one incantation monster from your deck except incantation candle basically this is the candle if this if this card is special summon from your from the deck, you can add one ritual spell from your deck to your hand. You can only use this one incantation candle effect once per turn and only one and only once turn. You cannot special summon other monsters from the extra deck. So To summon this out, you must reveal a ritual. And they're all gonna have effects. So the next one is Incantation Talismandra, I think that's what it is. Now okay. You can reveal one ritual monster from your hand, special summon. Special summon both from your um yeah, you can reveal one monster in your hand, special summon both this card from your hand and one incantation monster from the from your deck. Except incantation talismandra. If this card is special summon from your deck, you can you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use one incantation talismandra effect per turn. And only once that turn. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck. Okay. And last of the monsters, Incantation. I think that's how you say it now. Incantation. Pensive Plume. Intensive Plume is. You can reveal one ritual monster in your hand. Special summon both this card from your hand. And one Incantation monster from your deck except incantation pencil plume if this card is a special summon from your uh okay my mistake let's read it again right here you can reveal one monster in your hand special summon both this card from your hand and one incantation monster from your deck except incantation pencil plume if this card is special summon from your deck, you can target one ritual monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn and only once that turn. You cannot special summon cards from the extra deck. Now, okay. So those are the new tech ones for using rituals. Now, okay, yeah. Almost the whole entire deck is lights. The only darks you got is... Your Talia's, um, Talia's Manja. 
and the childism. Now again, we'll get to it later, but those are your only darks. I'll explain in a bit why they work. Till then, let's just go on. So, magics. What well, monster is my mistake? Now, okay, a new one. The ritual. Incantation. Inception. The ritual. This card can only be... This card can be used to... Ritual summon any ritual. You must also tribute intact incantation monsters from your hand or field whose totals level equal or exceed the level of the ritual monster you ritual summon. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one incantation card from your hand or field face up on the graveyard to the graveyard. Except incantation, um, inception. Special summon one incantation monster from your deck. Then add this card from your graveyard to your hand. You can only use this effect in of incantation inception once per turn. Now, okay, play any, but I'll explain on how you can play it in a bit. And then, of course, yeah, for the rituals, you're going to need your three chaos forms to make your uh, blue eyes cast max dragon, which is you need exactly whose total levels equal exactly to the level of chaos or black Luster soldier ritual. Of course, you're going to you're going to need eight. So to make Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. <laughs> Red Eyes Transmigration. This is to make Lord of Red. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field or banish Red Eyes monsters from your graveyard, except, yeah, I don't do that effect, but yeah, you must need the level of eight or more to make Lord of Red. So the ritual for Lord of Red The ritual primal, primal cry is to make Venu Bright Bird of Divinity. Tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total levels is equal to eight or more. And that's to make Venu Bright Bird of Divinity. And then just a one right Geki. And the one Dark Horn. And for traps, it's nothing but the Mirror Force, Quaking Mirror Force, Stormy Mirror Force, and then the three Solemn Strikes. <laughs> now, okay, the. It's, Here's the trick about using. I'll show you first the trick about using Blackluster Soldier or Chaos Emperor Dragon. They say you went to Manju, so let's just say Manju, Blue Eyes, Encanted, Encanted, in Can, Temptation. Yeah, challenge them. And let's just say... And Tal's... Tal's Mandra. And let's just say Stormy Mirror Force. Your five cards. Your draw was right, Geki. So, let's say you wanted to go into Right Geki. 
destroy their monsters. Destroy the monsters. Your opponent's monsters. Now here's the thing. Okay. Storming, you would want to put face down. You still have this. Let's say you wanted to go into Manju. Manju, search for anything. So let's just say you wanted to go into... So... Incanta... Incantation. So, you can go for that. So, show Charlie Islam and Ika Special Summon Charlie's Manja. Special. Search when it says Special Summon, Special Summon a any other. Let's just say you wanted to go into the Kandro. Kandro's effect is search for anything that's called any ritual. Maybe you want to go into chaos form. So, blue eyes, incantation, childism, chaos form, in inception, and your three monsters right here. Now, here's the thing. Okay. Chaos form I would use. Tribute, tribute. There's your eight. Your blue eyes cast max dragon. Now, of course, yeah, my mistake. I didn't put away here. I did put right here. Blue eyes, black Luster soldier, and void the beginning. Now, okay, remove a light, remove a dark is what you need. Now they are both lights. Okay, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> so pretty much, even if you wanted to, you can throw these away. It's easy just to bring these out. So it's not always you're gonna depend on Senju or Manju. These are your helpers. When it's special summoned, search for a ritual monster. When special summoned, search for any ritual monster, any ritual spell card. When special summoned, search for any ritual monster back from the graveyard to your hand. Now to do inse inception, you can bring, you can throw away any uh, summon whatever. Now it says tribute monsters. So even if you wanted to, so let's just say you wanted to go to Of course, yeah. Inception. You must of what the level is, so Lord of Red must be eight or more. This is nine. Tribute, tribute. Lord of Red. Now bring out any, but you must. It has to be monsters of incantations. If you were to go into blue eyes, you would need at least to do both candles. So I wouldn't do that. I would rather you're gonna do. Lord of Ren, Venue, or Cantation. And sometimes, yeah, if you don't need uh, Blue Eyes Chaos in your hand, 
you can maybe okay you have blue uh chaos in your hands yeah blackluster soldier chaos Venue. It's in a manju. So, whatever you whatever you want to do, maybe you just send manju. Search for any ritual monster or ritual spell. If you wanted to, you can wait a turn. Maybe just already you wanna go chaos form, throw away Venu, special summon blue eyes. You have your mirror forces to back you up. One special summon. Search for any from your graveyard back to your hand. One special summon, search for any ritual monster. Back from your deck to that hand. One special summoned. Special summon for any ritual magic card from your deck to your hand. That's why these are also just like Manju or Senchu. Not that hard. But yeah, here's another trick. Okay. Talis Manja and Candle. Okay, let's just say it was that. Your Black Luster. Lord of Red. And Inception. Let's say the this is on the field, this is your hand. Well then, Inception. You need eight or more. Here you go. That's way more, so that's five. Okay, nine. Remove away, remove away. Special on Lord of Red. Now here's the thing. Remove a light, remove a dark. This is your light, this is your dark. Remove them. Special summon. And then whatever your draw is going to be next. Hopefully it's any of the mirror forces. Your strike. Your Raigeki. But then here's the thing. As soon as... Hopefully when... Hopefully when your opponent's going to play something, you have your Lord of Red to stop, stop their... Effects stop their place. That's just the way it is. <laughs> so that's my ritual deck with the new tech of cards that I brought out, which is the incantations, the ritual, the monsters, and the magic card. So, hope y'all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Show you more deck profiles later. Peace.